A man's wife dies, leading him to buy another woman to deal with his isolation and loneliness, not realizing that this woman will eventually lead to his death. Welcome back to Nonstop Recap. Today we'll be recapping the 2017 drama The Skin of the Wolf. The film opens in the cold, isolated mountains of northern Spain, where we see a bushy huntsman named Martinon hunting, easily taking out a large deer. After being sure the creature is dead, Martinon walks up to it and begins preparing it so he can drag it back to his home. He makes it home by nightfall and spends a lonely night by himself, shivering near a fire. We see him spending his days in isolation while providing for himself by hunting, tending to animals, and working on his weapons. One day, Martinon gathers some wolf pelts and makes an arduous trek through the forest toward a populated nearby town. Once there, he meets up with a friend named Severino, who owns the town's bar. Severino brings him to his bar and offers him some food and drink while telling him about how hard the winter has been on the village. The village's mayor then shows up to buy the wolf pelts off of Martinon, but he can't afford them and tries to haggle for a lower price. With the help of Severino, Martinon is able to strike a deal with the mayor and get paid. Later, Martinon is talking to Severino about how his dog was killed by a wolf at the beginning of winter. Severino knows that Martinon's isolation and harsh environment must be taking a toll on him, so he suggests that Martinon get a new dog. Martinon quickly says no, stating that it would take too long to train a new one. Severino then suggests that Martinon get a woman instead, and after thinking about it for a moment, Martinon says that a woman would be harder to tame and wouldn't be able to survive where he lives. Severino insists, stating that Martinon should have a son so there will be someone to look after his property when he dies. Martinon still says no, insisting on being a lone wolf. Martinon starts heading back to his house, but before leaving the village, he swings by the house of a woman named Pasquala. Without saying anything, Anything, the two look at each other and immediately begin to aggressively sleep together. Martinon leaves once they finish and goes back to his solitary life, but it's obvious as he goes through his normal chores that he's reconsidering what Severino said to him. Martinon eventually makes up his mind and heads back to town where he makes a deal with Pasquala's father, Ubaldo, in order to take her as his wife. Pasquala does her best to adapt to Martinon's demanding life, but as the two go about their chores together, they hardly even look at each other, let alone talk. While doing a few chores at the end of the night, Martinon suddenly grabs Pasquala and begins to roughly sleep with her. Pasquala's new life begins to take a toll on her, and we see her getting sick. One day, she tells Martinon that she's pregnant, and he barely has a reaction. However, he does build a crib for the baby. A harsh winter hits, and Pasquala isn't able to handle it. She becomes incredibly ill, and Martinon comes home from a hunt to find her on the floor. We see a montage of Martinon doing his best to care for Pasquala and the unborn child, but she doesn't seem to be getting any better. Eventually, Pasquala goes into labor, and it's only made the more difficult due to her illness. The pain and stress proves to be too much, and Pasquala dies after giving birth to a stillborn baby. Martinon tends to his goats for a while before heading inside the house and discovering what has happened to his wife. The normally calm and emotionless Martinon expresses his anger, grief, and frustration by smashing the crib and yelling. We see him digging Pasquala's grave, but is sent into a fit of despair and ends up knocking down some of the other headstones. Eventually, Martinon realizes that Pasquala was already sick and pregnant by the time she was sold to him by Ubaldo. After realizing this, Martinon is driven by anger to drag the body of his late wife and baby all the way back to the village. He brings her to Ubaldo and confronts him, and the man admits that Pasquala was a sick and pregnant widow, and that he sold her to Martinon because he was nervous about what the other townspeople would say. Martinon gets in the man's face and asks him if he will tell that town that Martinon killed his own wife, but Ubaldo says that Martinon solved everything when he bought Pasquala, because now everyone will assume the child was his. Enraged, Martinon shoves Ubaldo's face near his daughter's corpse and tells him it's his own fault that his daughter is dead. He then says that Ubaldo owes him money back since Pasquala wasn't in the condition they agreed on, and he says that Ubaldo has until next spring to get his money. Spring eventually comes, and Martinon makes his way back to the village to make good on his threat to Ubaldo. Ubaldo panics when he sees Martinon and runs inside of his 
house. Martinon pulls out his gun and follows Ubaldo into the house, ready to threaten him in order to get his money back. However, when Martinon goes inside, he sees that Ubaldo is there with his other daughter, Adela. Ubaldo offers her up as a new wife instead of giving Martinon his money back, and Martinon thoroughly inspects her before finally agreeing and unknowingly signing his own death sentence. Martinon and Adela get married the next day, and afterward, Ubaldo talks to Adela and tells her that she belongs to Martinon now. He warns her that Martinon will hunt her down if she tries to escape, but he hands her a satchel filled with poison and tells her to use it if things get too rough and she can't stand it anymore. Martinon and Adela begin the long walk back to Martinon's house, and Adela struggles with the rough terrain. Martinon frequently stops to give her water, and eventually he carries her bag for her. They eventually make it home, and we see Adela nervously lying in bed, fidgeting with her hands as Martinon walks toward her. Martinon undoes his pants and yanks Adela's legs open before aggressively sleeping with her. As he does, Adela's pain and discomfort are obvious. The next day, we see the two tending to chores in silence with a tense air between them. At dinner, Martinon finally speaks to Adela and tells her that he'll be going on a trip for four days to sell pelts. Adela asks him to tell her family that she's okay if she sees them. Just like the previous night, as the two get into bed for the night, Martinon roughly sleeps with Adela with no thoughts as to how it feels for her. He leaves for his trip the next day and tells Adela to be careful. Now on her own, Adela wanders around the property and eventually finds the cemetery where her late sister and nephew are buried. Martinon eventually returns home and awkwardly eats while sitting with Adela, and it's obvious she resents him for putting her in this situation. He gives her a necklace that her mother sent, prompting Adela to ask if he also saw her father, but Martinon says he didn't. Adela's spite towards Martinon grows larger by the day as Martinon continues to treat her roughly. One day, Martinon notices that Adela is making a fur coat. That night, she asks him about the smaller grave near her sister's, and he tells her that they're nothing but holes. Adela seems confused and hurt and begins to storm off. But Martinon admits that Pasquala was sent with him while sick and pregnant. Adela doesn't believe him at first, but then Martinon says that Pasquala was sold to him in exchange for pelts, and that the same is true for Adela. This infuriates Adela even further, and she finally storms off completely. The two spend their days uncomfortably coexisting. One night, Adela is looking in a mirror and is upset when she sees that her belly is growing, meaning that she's pregnant with Martinon's child. Martinon appears from behind her and comes to the same realization, but he doesn't react or say anything instead just holding her belly with his hand. In the morning, Adela wakes up and finds the table filled with food, possibly a sign of affection from Martinon. Later, the two tend to a piece of meat from one of Martinon's hunts when he notices some blood from the animal on Adela's thigh. Martinon is reminded of Pasquala and is uneasy, causing him to switch spots with Adela. Martinon goes out to set traps for his prey while Adela tends to chores at home. Adela is clearly frustrated and burning with rage over the fact that she is carrying Martinon's child, and is obviously growing more and more willing to take matters into her own hands. Adela lifts up their mattress and pulls out the satchel her father gave her, which is filled with poisonous herbs. She prepares the herbs and poisons Martinon's food with them when he returns home for dinner. Completely unaware of the poison now entering his body, Martinon eagerly eats his food and spends his time the next day preparing a crib for the baby. Eventually, the continuous poisoning begins to work and Martinon is shown to be getting repeatedly sick, spending his nights groaning due to stomach pain. Martinon goes out on a hunt the next morning and Adela packs some things and tries to escape into the woods. Things are going fine for her at first, but eventually takes a turn for the worst when she steps on one of Martinon's traps. She tries to pry the trap off but isn't strong enough, forcing her to try and crawl through the forest with the trap still on. When Martinon arrives home and he notices that that Adela is nowhere to be seen, and he heads out to look for her. He finds her frozen and nearly dead, and quickly brings her back to the house. He wraps her in fur and holds her and tries to warm her up. Martinon does his best to care for her, but he notices that her crotch is covered with blood, meaning that she miscarried. Martinon is still sick from the poison, but continues to work around the property and care for Adela. She eventually recovers and tells Martinon that she lost the baby, but he ignores her. The next day, Martinon tells Adela that she's free to leave once she's fully recovered.
Adela is at a loss for words, but eventually is able to ask Martin on why, and he cryptically replies that the days are short now. Adela immediately leaves the house and begins to cry when she gets outside, possibly over guilt for having poisoned Martin on when he's letting her leave. The next morning, Martin on wakes up alone and pukes before making himself a warm drink. As he drinks, a realization comes over Martin on and he rushes to the kitchen. He manages to find the poisonous herbs Adela was using and finally understands what's been happening to him. Knowing his life is coming to an end, Martin on contemplates his surroundings while cradling the unused baby crib. He then frees his farm animals before sitting in the snow and getting overwhelmed by emotions as he thinks back on his tragic life. We then see Martin on lying isolated in his bed and his life slowly drains out of him. Click on the videos on screen for more.